Eller jeg gik, som gik at. Vi gør noget tøjt om box. So the other day um, I posted a video that I was sent uh, the wrong Marvel Legends. I ended up with a Wasp figure that's over there, and basically I opened it anyway because of the Thanos Builder figure. Um, somewhere in between a company called Dark Side Toys, which checked on the website, they seem to specialise more in Star Wars, but they have uh, a lot of Marvel Legends and. After looking, the the prices on the Legends figures are really, really cheap. Um, I've seen this figure, which is Thor from Infinity War. I've seen this figure going for upwards of thirty to thirty-five pounds. Um, as you can see, it goes in with the line with Wasp that I already have, Cap and Iron Man. Um, this figure is supposed to be hard to get rid hold of and yet they are selling this for 18 pound um i've had another look they had shipping on the top the shipping's about two pounds so either way you're saving a ton of money um i checked the delivery status this thing was sent out yesterday it's arrived today so let's open him up as you can see this is a uh, chris hemsworth i'm just getting my own reflection in it Chris Hemsworth Thor from Infinity War, build a figure Thanos. With the state of the universe thrown into chaos, Thor sets out to protect Earth and beyond. Um, we've got some side art there, Avengers art on the top. Just showing you the back, but there we go. And on the bottom, we've got safety stuff. We don't need safety stuff because we're grown ups. Once again, a blister pack that's not sort of got the little presses on it, no cable ties, so the figure is easy to get hold of. It's actually quite a good uh, likeness for Chris Hemsworth there. Obviously, I'll switch, switch around to another camera um, once I've got out the packaging. Um, even this Thanos head sculpt. Is actually really good. Okay, so put that over there. Um, so this, obviously, being Infinity War, comes with Stormbreaker, which is made by a dwarf in the movie for Thor. Comes with a lightning effect. I wonder if that comes off thing. Actually, clip to the figure. Looks like it can. Okay, so let's get thought the packaging. I know some people get annoyed with this. Um, it's plastic cape, which is fine. It's steady, sturdy. It's not going to rot like cloth or rip like cloth. You see the space on the back it's quite small and then the cape fans at the bottom so i've seen people unboxing these and uh struggle or you could just roll the cape a little and give it a pull i need to make some space So, the Chris Hemsworth sculpt thought looks up as far as that, looks right the way down. Oh, these shoulders don't lift out at all, I don't think. No, they don't lift at all. Um, he has a bicep swivel there, double jointed elbows, wrist pivot. And a wrist hinge. Both arms have the same 
sort of movement in them. So he's very capable of hugging himself. I'm guessing he'll hold Stormbreaker quite well. He has an ab crunch. He bends this far back, not so far forward. His legs split this far. Kick out almost 90 degrees. Kick back a little. Double jointed knees. Ankle rocker. And a pivot. So this should be a cool figure for posing. Unfortunately I don't have any flight stands. It's quite a hefty figure too. Um, I assume he scales up with the other Infinity War figures like... Um, this figure doesn't come with any interchangeable parts, but obviously he's got Stormbreaker and the lightning effect. How is he going to hold that? All right, the hands are actually quite loose, so you can place Stormbreaker in his hands quite easily. I can get it in both hands. Yes, you can. Just. You can just about get both hands on there, but the storm beak is too wide there, and I don't want to sort of deform the hands. But. The storm beak is actually really soft, so I could walk. But. That is, um. That is a cool figure. detail on the uniform uniform the suit it's probably the most detailed of uh, the suits the stitching on the trousers the boots anyway I'll stand him up on a desk and then we'll change cameras sorry uh, just playing a little. You can actually get him to hold the lightning effect. Probably looks better on Stormbreaker, but yeah. So I get him posed up a little. I'll put some other figures side by side for comparison. And then we'll put him on the shelf with the other figures. Stay tuned. So there we go, guys. There's Thor with the other Infinity War figures. I haven't put Wasp in for this. As you can see, he is quite a bit taller than Iron Man and Captain America, which is probably scaled correctly at the films because Chris Hemsworth is a is a big guy. So um, it's quite a hefty figure. So I don't know if the flight stand I do have that is struggling to hold Captain Marvel is going to hold him up, but that is a really cool sculpting figure. These. Uh, Infinity War figures have really impressed me. The Captain America face sculpt that I've moaned about from the day I've had it to this. I mean, there's a night and day sort of contrast between likeness. And the Wasp figure is even better again. Captain Marvel, probably the best head sculpt. So there's our desk cam look. Switch back around and I'll put him in the display with the other figures and show you guys how we look. You should have gone for the head. So there we are guys. There's Thor in all his glory with Stormbreaker and Lightning effects. I really need to change Thanos out for the builder figure Thanos when I build it. And there he is alongside the rest of the team that I've got. Obviously some of these are not in the movie. This is an Amazing Spider-Man 2 figure. That's a comic book beast. Comic book Punisher. Comic book Deadpool. And I believe that's an ultimate Spider-Man Miles Morales up there. But, and the Diamond Select Thor. Thor? Diamond Select Thanos. 
and there's obviously my Civil War figures. I'm hoping to collect the rest of this range so I can put the Builder figure Thanos in and put the Diamond Select Thanos back on a shelf. Um, so far very impressed with Marvel Legends and very impressed with Dark Side Toys. Um, this package arrived in a huge box, plenty of protection, bubble wrap. Um, the product was sent in perfect order, unlike my Amazon ordered Thor that came wrong figure, damage box. This uh, obviously perfect. All the joints work, nothing stiff, no clicking. And he's in scale with the rest of the figures, so yeah, great. So guys, there's my review of the Thor figure from the Infinity War range. Um, a few more videos coming up for you. Um, I'm actually going to do a video on my Marvel Cinematic Universe ranking order of the films. Um, it's actually a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Um, if you could see the paper that I wrote my sort of notes on, there's arrows everywhere. Um, That'll probably be my next video once I have um, filmed and edited and etc. Um, don't have enough parts to build Thanos yet, but it's getting there. Um, finally, before I go, uh, me and Mrs. Geek went on a toy hunt today. Um, went to a place called the Pump House in Panath. Um, there's three toy stores in there the last time we went. We went today, one was closed, one doesn't exist anymore, and the other was more Doctor Who than anything. I've got a stack of Doctor Who stuff down there that um, I'm not putting on a shelf, so I'm not going to buy any more. But I did pick this up. I'm aware this is part of a four-pack, and the four-pack is quite expensive, but I paid £7.50 for this, or £7. So it's 75 years of Batman. Seven pound. The price is still in there, and there's a six-inch articulated Batman figure. Obviously, I've got my massive Batman collection over there. He'll be a welcome addition, but he's still in the tin because it's definitely a collector's tin. So I'm not going to do a review on that because it's only got sort of minimal articulation for a collector's item. Um, as I said, next up, I'm thinking is going to be. The, my Marvel Cinematic Movie ranking um, and hopefully by then my Z-Box will turn up and then I can do a review on that because at the moment none of us have had our payments taken for our July Z-Box the end of the month is fast approaching we all know what happened with me's it turned up after the June box but the contents were awesome um, I feel like more of that box it's definitely this Chewbacca with ATST, which is uh, it's an awesome pop. I'm still wanting to take that out of the box, but Mrs. Geek has decided that she loves Chewbacca more than I do, and it will stay boxed because that's hers. Like the Gremlin pops, like my Walking Dead collection. That's now our collection. Uh, she wants to keep it all boxed, um, and I'm glad she did now, because now the Walking Dead comic book has ended. Maybe these things will increase in value, there won't be so many boxed. I don't know, I, I mean, I don't collect for monetary gain. I collect for my own personal satisfaction and joy. Um, obviously, Mrs. Geek has joined me in it. Mrs. Geek keeps uh, buying things for me before I go. I have two of these 1989 Batman Joker movie figures, but they're incomplete. I have a carded Batman and a loose Batman figure. The carded Joker's gone for quite a bit of money. Um, and Mrs. Geeks managed to find the water squirters to attach to the back of the Joker, so she's bought me them. Uh, they arrived today. Obviously, I'm not going to do reviews on a plastic squirter and tube, but. She's bought me one for each of the loose Joker figures I've got. I've got one in a cycle and one stood on display. So, the collection's growing, guys. So, please like the video, share, comment, subscribe, do all that sort of stuff. Help me support the channel. Um, the last week or so, my videos are getting a lot more plays and a lot more attention. 
Um, I've had some good advice on my videos off Geeky Heathen and Super Sorrow. Uh, please go and check their channels out. Um, these guys are good. They've got collections that make mine look tiny. Um, Super Sorrow's Marvel Legends collection. Wow. The guy must pre-order everything because it's insane what he's got. So I'm going to sign off and I'll catch you guys soon for my MCU. Thank <laughs> you.